Burkina Faso's interim president, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, has been popular among younger Africans because of his ability to face problems and challenge Africa's old presidents, as seen at the Russia-Africa summit. However, there was a planned coup to take out Traoré's government earlier today. This is not the first time they have attempted a coup against his government. In December 2022, shortly after Traoré's takeover, some soldiers tried to kick him out. Those behind it, they said, were civilians and a lieutenant colonel named Emmanuel Zangrana. Yesterday, it was reported that some soldiers and former soldiers working in intelligence were scouting homes of key figures of the transition government, including the locations of strongman Ibrahim Traoré. As a result, three soldiers in Burkina Faso have been arrested and charged with plotting against the ruling government, the country's military prosecutor said on Friday. The arrested soldiers said that their goal was to destabilize the transition. The military prosecutor, Major Alphonse Orma, said that the soldiers have been detained and charged with involvement in a military plot, breach of military orders, plotting against state security, criminal association, and endangerment. The three officers were Warrant Officer Windin Malegde Cabaret, Sergeant Breeze Isma Ramde, and former Corporal Saimi Da, who was convicted in a plot against the state back in 2015, as French media outlet France 24 reported. You can take your own guess, but one would think that there are foreign powers behind the attempted coup against Ibrahim Traoré because he has proven to go against the interests of the US and France since he took power. We all know what the US and France are doing to take out African governments that are not in their favor and install puppet leaders. Remember that Traoré has succeeded in chasing neo-colonialist France out of Burkina Faso and has been making many economic reforms that is in the favor of Burkina Faso and not France. He has urged the young people and the wealthy in Burkina Faso to commit to job creation for the younger people so that they don't struggle to go to Europe through the deserts and seas. He has even announced that Burkina Faso will henceforth take full control of its gold mining and production to maximize the benefits of its natural resources. It appears the French are learning a bitter lesson in Africa for their arrogance and neo-colonialist policies there. We have seen it happen too in Mali, Guinea, and Niger. We wouldn't mention the coup in Gabon for obvious reasons. The coup in Gabon seems to have been hijacked, as we have detailed in the video in the description below. Make sure you watch it too. Traoré has gone further to say that Burkina Faso is not an enemy of France, but all other countries must trade equally and fairly with Burkina Faso if they want relations to continue. He took power on September 30, 2022, at the age of just 34, making him the world's youngest leader outside of royalty. Thomas Sankara, whose footsteps Traoré is following, took power at the age of 33. We have a video showing how Ibrahim Traoré intends to fulfill Sankara's legacy. Find the link in the description below. Traoré toppled Colonel Paul Henry Sandago Damba, who little more than eight months earlier had ousted Burkina Faso's elected president, Rockmark Christian Cabaret. Traoré has promised a return to democracy with presidential elections by July 2024. This attempted coup against Traoré's government was an eye-opener for all Africans. It shows that there are still some greedy people, even among Africans, who want to stand in the way of the freedom and growth of the continent. Also, there are foreign forces that are working tirelessly to take out revolutionary leaders, as we've seen in the past, from Gaddafi, Sankara, Krumah, and Lumumba. They will keep trying to wipe out Ibrahim Traoré to secure their interests. Young Africans have taken a liking to Traoré and have been inspired by his speeches and reforms since he took power in Burkina Faso. He has even sent some of Burkina Faso's military troops to support Niger in case the Ikawas tries to attack Niger. Africa is watching as we need selfless leaders like Ibrahim Traoré if we want to be free and independent. We are watching and hoping that Traoré won't be caught by the perks of power and try to hold it forever like other greedy African leaders. What do you think of the attempted coup against Ibrahim Traoré? Do you believe that foreign powers are involved? What do you think of those greedy Africans who are ready to sell their people to enrich themselves? Let us know in the comments below.
Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the new tourist channel for more informative videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video, which shows you how Burkina Faso has sent troops to support Niger.